Hello everybody, Robotica Online here. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make a simple menu in Unity. What you're going to need to do is first you're going to need to go to unitysimplescript.blogspot.com, link in the description, and you can download this package which comes as a zip file. You'll need to open that. Uh, one of the ways I suggest doing it is on some Windows computers, there's a few ways. On some Windows computers when you download a zip file, it will ask you do you want to, uh, you can have the option save file or open this file. Uh, you can do open that file and you can open it and see what's inside and then drag it out onto your desktop or you can just uh, use 7-zip or WinRAR to get the contents. So you're going to get this file, menu tutorial, uh, it's a zip file, and you're going to need to download that. Uh, there's a little... yeah. Once you have that downloaded, you need to go into your Unity right here and uh, open it up and you're going to get a few prefab and then two scripts. First things first, let's use the prefab. What you need to do is drag it into your thing, and you're going to make sure that its positions are 0, 0, and 0. Right there. Then the game should be able to see this one. To clear things up, I'm just going to make myself a direction of light, as you can see. And then you're going to play mode, and you'll have this on nice and simple, and you'll just see it. Now this won't actually work as a button yet, you're going to need to apply the button script to it, which is sort of an obvious thing. So you have your button script, it's pretty simple, all you need to do is drag it on, and you should be good. Over it, change to gray, and you're going to be good. Now I'm going to explain, uh, explain the button script to you quick. So the button script is pretty simple. So it just says when your mouse enters it, uh, it'll change it to gray, and when it exit it, it'll change it back to white. And then when you bring your mouse up on it, so not click down, click up, uh, it will load level one. Now I'll show you how to configure what level it loads uh, in just a moment. So. Uh, once that's all set up, it should work. About that level configuring, what you're going to need to do is go File right here and Build Settings. In Build Settings, what you're going to do is you'll have uh, a few things. Uh, you won't have some levels. None of your levels, if it's the first time there, none of your levels will be added. So we, in order to add a level, you just go down here to Add Current right here. And well, yeah, Add Current. So that's pretty easy. And then you can drag them around to configure. And then over here, it'll tell you the number of which they are. And as uh, before, it's at load level one right here. So it's gonna load our level tutorial. That was where I set up the tutorial. And now it just has some text to tell us that our button worked. So the, um, that's done. Uh, by the way, these build functions right here, uh, you build it for certain platforms. Building out is basically turning into an application. So you can build it into your app for the platform. Over here, you can change it to Linux, Mac, or Windows. So, next, you're going to go over here into your button, and let's test it out for real this time. So, go in, over, over, click it, and my button worked. Perfect. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to add sort of a rotating object, such as a gun or something. So, for simplicity's sake here, we are going to actually build ourselves a, um, let's do a cube. So, let's drag our cube up here, right next to our example text, and then zero is our coordinate. And that should be good. There's our cube. We're going to just go click. There we go. Now for cube, all set up. Now we can use our cube quick. What we're going to need to do is apply the rotate function to it. It's a pretty simple script. Let's look at it. So the rotate as a very simple script, say so if your function update, so every single frame, it's going to transform it, and it's going to rotate it. So every form, every frame, it rotates it by two, two into two on the axis. If you want to make it so it just rotates in the uh, normal direction, that's basically, let's see here, uh, I that cube. If you want it to make it rotate in that direction, uh, all you have to do is change these other values here to zero, and change that middle value to um, whatever you want. But for simplicity's sake right now, we're just going to leave it at 2, 2, and 2. So let's play our game. And now we have this wonderful little rotating object that can be a gun or whatever we want it to be. Over here we have our button. The button still works. It's perfect. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope the tutorial helped. Remember to check out our other videos and channel.